What's up, Anglers? Bill Scott of Florida Bass Paddler, and today I got this. Now, inside this box is supposed to be a really cool crate from Yak Gadget. We have to put it together first because it's not going to work like this. So, stay tuned. Let's get this bad boy built and on the water. So I've been kayak fishing since 2004, and I've had a variety of kayaks and a variety of crates. From your found on the side of the road milk crate with the zip tied PVC in the back acting as rod holders, all the way to the more expensive brands. And they've all had their place. But recently I switched from an Old Town Topwater 120 PDL to a Old Town Predator PDL. And the crate I was using, while it's fantastic, no longer suited my needs in this particular kayak because the Predator does not have as wide of a tank well as the Topwater. And because the way it was designed, I couldn't really modify it. So I decided to pull the trigger on a Yak Gadget Low Pro Crate XD. Now this is a sharp looking crate, so I've been eyeballing it for a while. And please keep in mind, I paid full price for this crate, including shipping, so I'm not being put up to this video by the manufacturer. It's something I decided to do because I realize how invaluable a platform such as YouTube is for researching products and helping people make their decisions. So when I try something new, I want to share it with everybody, good, bad, or indifferent. The standard Low Pro Crate has three rod holders. The Low Pro Crate XD comes with six rod holders, as well as a deeper body. Now you can put as many rod holders on there as you want. It's starboard, you can leave some off, you can drill new holes, etc. Now, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna give you an overview on my Low Pro Crate XD, as well as how I have it modified to fit my needs. This is to give you an idea. This is not to say you have to set your crate up this way or that way. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna show you the risers I also bought, because if you have a Predator kayak, you're gonna to wanna to get the risers, and I'll show you why in a minute. But overall, this has been a great crate. I've used it a bunch. I wanted to make sure I used it before I actually did a video overview of it because again I want to make sure I give you my pros and cons on it, what I did to it, why I did what I did so it's easier for you to understand the decisions I made as well as help you make one when you're, if you're in the market for a crate for your kayak. So stay tuned, let's check out some of the details. There's one of those found on the side of the road crates now. Alright so we're going to swivel around here. And here we go. Here's my Low Pro Crate XD. Super easy to reach, first and foremost. That's why I enjoy this crate. Now, if you look at the design in the crates on our website, the crates come with di dividers that hold your boxes at an angle so they're easier to reach. But when I announced on social media that I was getting one of these boxes, a longtime friend of mine, Dave Harper, and here's his Instagram and YouTube handles, said, hey Bill, when you build a box, leave the dividers out, you can get more tackle. And he was right. These are 3,700 size boxes. I can fit up to seven in there. And as you can see, in my kayak, they're easy to reach laying this way without putting in the dividers. I have them all labeled here so I know what I'm grabbing. But again, very easy to reach. Seven 3,700 size boxes and they fit in there beautifully. Now this crate system comes with this cover here and it's a nice cover but one thing I realized was it wasn't permanently attached to the crate. It has four loops of bungee here that attach to these hooks that are designed into the sides of the box so I decided to make some tethers here, here and this is what they look like. So 
It's about two inches of bungee with a terminal end and a hook end. And this way, if I lift my cover up and it's a windy day, I don't have to worry about blowing away. Here's another modification I made. This is a uh, bungee button and I put a one inch nylon ring and I just wrapped the bungee around it. Why did I do that? Well, a friend of mine said, hey, you know, that cover's not gonna fully stay on, etc." I've already installed two tethers here and I put this on here. This also helps keep it nice and tight against the boxes in case, God forbid, of a turtle or a flip, um, the cover's on there nice and tight. Again, it's just a simple nylon ring, take it off, and you can still access your corners there, but it's just a simple pull. And I might put a zipper pull on here, and it's on there. Here's a couple other mods I did. Um, this is a piece of sea deck I'd gotten from iCast a few years ago, as well as a piece here and here. Uh, it just helps keep the boxes a little more silent when I'm moving them around in a kayak. Uh, these pieces here are pre-cut by sea deck for steps. Uh, you can usually get them in a set of four on eBay for like 40 bucks. I had two extras, so I put one here and here. And again, this helps cushion uh, the boxes as they're moving around to uh, make sure there's not too much noise. In addition, here are the risers on the bottom. Now, the risers are made to be installed uh, vertically. However, I installed mine horizontally. The whole pattern is the same. The reason I did this is that when the boxes are in the crate, they could shift this way um, in the kayak or when I have it in front of my truck. So I installed them horizontally to help distribute that weight. So if the boxes do move a little bit, uh, you're not putting any tension or stress on the screws, even though the risers are pre-drilled and threaded um, and they have the inserts in them. Again, I thought by doing it this way would help alleviate some of the stress and evenly distribute the weight with the boxes rocking. So that's why I installed them that way. Now here you can see just how nicely the crate fits in the back of the kayak. Now I'm going to show you exactly why you need the risers if you're going to put it in a Predator series kayak. Now on the sides, you see how these stick out here. That's just the way the box is designed. Uh, these pieces here, shaped like a T, help connect everything. And then when you buy one, you'll see what I mean. But to come over to the kayak, if you don't have risers, the tank wall narrows a little bit in the Predator, so you'll hit here with those risers and it won't go all the way down and you'll be pushing on the sides of your kayak and if it's in the hot months of summer you could form your kayak a little bit so i definitely recommend the risers uh, the ones i have are two and a half inch they also make a four and three quarters inch which i also may pick up a pair for my swim bait rods so we're going to see how that works i'll update the comments when i do that but that's why you need the risers if you're going to have a predator kayak in one of the low pro crates English, like I said earlier in the video, I really wanted to make sure I used this box a few times before I gave it my honest opinion. Um, keeping in mind I'm doing this video review, it's all done from my opinion. I understand that Yak Gadget is a young growing company and as time goes on, I'm sure they're gonna make more improvements to their product, offer more products to their existing line and continue to make modifications to benefit the angler. I really like this crate, I have to tell you, for a couple reasons. Number one is it's versatile as far as setting it up the way you want. Uh, it's made of starboard, easy to drill in through if you want to uh, add some uh, additional accessories. The Low Pro Crate XD has six rod holders. I was able to make it hold three rods, which is not a problem for me. If I want to bring more rods, I have flush mounts here on my kayak. Um, I really love the look of it. I love how easy it is to reach my boxes. So really, I have no complaints about this box. Now, the way I have it set up, and again, how I mentioned it earlier was, I believe when the box was designed, it had came with dividers to keep your boxes at a forward angle to help you access them easier. So when my friend told me to do this, it worked out great. But the handles on the side are now a little harder to grab. That's not a 
flaw in the product design. That's just because of how I have the boxes in here. I'm sure if I use the dividers, have the boxes the other way, I'd probably have a better grip. Um, I would like to see higher sides, being that more anglers are going to this box set up here. But again, that's not a design flaw at all. That's just something I would like to see happen. Now, I don't want to say it's a con, but one thing you want to keep in mind is, while I really like this cover, the material it's made of actually lightens the weight of the box instead of having a solid cover, or excuse me, a lid on the box. Um, but keep in mind, while no boxes are really waterproof with the exception of a few, uh, the way this is made, you're going to get water coming in here. Now, the way the box is put together, there are spaces. It is not going to fill up with water, so I would not worry about that. But if you're going to go with a setup like this, I would make sure you're using the waterproof style utility boxes, regardless of what brand you use, just to help protect your gear. Uh, again, lots of boxes have holes in them. Lots of boxes are going to get water in if you're in a downpour. It's part of fishing. If you're afraid of your gear getting wet, don't go. Um, but that's really the only thing I really want to bring your attention to. Again, not a flaw, but something you have to keep in mind. But again, overall, I love the versatility of the box. I love how easy it is to modify. And I really enjoyed using it. So if you want to check out the Low Pro Crate XD from Yak Gadget or any of their other items that they have available for kayak anglers, here's their link right here. I encourage you to go check them out. If you have any questions or comments or any ideas you want to share about this box, please leave them in the comments below. If you like what you've seen, I ask you to please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Tight lines, stay safe. I'll see you underwater.